Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Maya and... Wait, why did I just say welcome back? This is my first video. <laughs> Anyways, hello. Wait, should I put up my hair? Is that better? Kind of. I wanted to start off this video like this because I am going to be coming in and out throughout giving some context because without it, it's gonna be a very confusing video because this trip definitely was not a simple just get on the plane and go. <laughs> and you'll see why in a second. Anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time and cut to the actual video clips. Let's get it. I can do now is just hope we get on this flight. This is just not looking too good. <sighs> Let's just hope. Fingers crossed. Honestly, I feel like I'm having deja vu. Like I feel like I've already done this day before because I have. <laughs> like it feels like Groundhog Day or something. It's me again, are you surprised? <laughs> you might not be able to tell, but those two clips where I was talking to the camera were filmed on two separate days. And it doesn't really make sense because I was at the airport for like a good five hours, why didn't I just get on the plane? <laughs> Let's get into it. My job is a flight attendant. And that means that I can fly on standby for flights at a reduced cost. Flying standby also means that I am not guaranteed a seat. <laughs> So if there's empty seats on the plane, then I can get on. If there's not, tough luck. That means that we originally left on the Monday the 10th. And so we flew once to uh, Vancouver airport where we were planning on flying from there to Incheon. The standby list was very long and we didn't get on. <laughs> that was a tiring day. We flew once, waited, found out we couldn't get on, and then we flew back home <laughs> to try again the next day. The next day came and we decided to try again. Oh wait, have I mentioned I went on this trip with my brother? <laughs> so that's what I mean by we. So the plan was actually to stand by for two different flights. One was for Incheon and the other one was for Narita, Japan, and our Thinking was that if we can't get onto the Incheon flight, at least we maybe we can go to Japan and then just fly from Japan either that night or the next day and get to Incheon. So these flights departure times were only about 15 minutes apart and the gates were very close on paper. The Incheon and the Narita flight were only about like three gates apart, but in reality, there's like an entire shopping and duty-free area and like food court area that is separating them. So it takes like a few minutes, even if you're running to get to these. So my brother is waiting at the Narita gate. I'm waiting at the Incheon gate. I start seeing that people are getting called up for the Incheon flight. And I'm like, okay, like my name is still pretty low on the list. I didn't really have that many high hopes because this trip was already so short to begin with. If we weren't gonna make it on on the second day, I think we probably would have just given up and not gone at all. The universe was clearly on our side. I don't know how it happened, but it did. Suddenly, I'm next in line on the flight list. I have never felt such adrenaline and like nervous sweats in my life. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm like, oh my gosh, like majority of the passengers have already boarded already. Like it's starting to look pretty slim around. Finally, I hear my name called. 
I don't think I've ever been so happy to have my name called in my life. So she calls me up and I ask her, am I getting on this flight? She says, yes. I immediately call my brother. I'm like, you need to get here now. <laughs> we honestly thought that our chances of getting on the Japan flight were higher. So I left my stuff with him. He comes sprinting over. I'm telling the gate agent that like he's in the bathroom and he's like, he's coming like, and I, I start panicking too because there's literally nobody left. Like they're about to close the gates. And I was afraid that maybe they would just be like, oh, never mind, you can't get on, like it's too late. He goes running. I'm like running over to him. I'm like, get your passport out. Like, we need to go. We need to get on this way. Blah, blah, blah. We make it on. I'm pretty sure we were also the very last people to get on this plane. I sit down. I am like a sweaty mess. I can't even believe I'm on this plane right now. It was the most nerve wracking thing I think I've ever experienced. This was also my very first time ever flying standby. And so I didn't really quite know how it was gonna go down. Uh, if you ever want an adrenaline rush, highly recommend. <laughs> uh, and I still can't believe we made it. So let's get back into the video. And it's probably gonna be me in a voiceover this time because we all know that airplanes are way too loud to talk in. Boop. All right, hello, this is voiceover Maya. I sat down a sweaty mess because I quite literally could not believe we made it on this plane. Honestly, I didn't really do much on the plane. I just kind of zone out and I just look at the flight map and the food was meh. I've had airplane food a lot, it's all right. Thank goodness that past me downloaded the latest episode of Run BTS on the flight because that's what I watched and it was so hard not to just start laughing out loud. I think my shoulders were shaking as I was silent laughing. All right, hello and welcome to my impromptu skincare routine, airplane routine. I don't know if you can even call it that. Basically, this is what I just typically do on an airplane. I carry around this pouch with me everywhere I go and my lip balm is upside down. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oh well, anyways, uh, here's the eye drops. Eye drops are an absolute must. I love Japanese brand eye drops because they make your eyes feel like they're burning out of the sockets in the best way possible. <laughs> and here is a face mask, of course. This is the Tony Moly avocado one. I quite like this one because it's very, the sheet itself is quite thick. And if you ever see me on an airplane, I will most likely be wearing one of these for a good portion of the flight. <laughs> a few years ago, I bought this silicone mask that you put on top of a face mask, and it is quite literally the best thing I've ever bought. It keeps the mask on and more hydrated for longer. Here is my hand cream. That's also ooh, upside down. Nope, there, there we go, yes. And after that, I put my mask back on and then I'm also typically sleeping. So then I put my sleeping mask on and then I also usually have a hat on. So you basically just cannot see my face for a good portion of the flight. Yeah, that's what I look like. Anyways, we're at the halfway point of the flight now and they served breakfast, if that's what you even call it. It was chapje. It was mm, kind of flavorless. It was all right. And then we were almost flying over Tokyo at this point. I was getting so antsy, my butt was killing me. And then we landed and I just could not believe it at all. So let's get back into the video. Okay, bye. I just can't believe we're here. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. Mm. 
said I've never tried this. so long like we've been up for how many hours banana milk <laughs> i absolutely love banana milk yeah Okay, hi again. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Is this kind of an outro? Sort of? I completely forgot to make an outro. Yes, I am filming this after my entire trip. Today is like, it's like the end of October now. I hope this video is up pretty soon. I'm sorry if it's not. Not that anyone's even waiting for this. <laughs> Nobody even knows that I'm making these videos, <laughs> except me. But I'll have fun watching them. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching till the end. I have a ton of other videos lined up to go. They just have to be like, you know, put together, edited, made all cute with funny sounds and music. Where am I going with this? Anyways, thank you for watching the first of many videos. Vlogging is kind of hard, and so I feel like a lot of the videos I am a little bit shy in because I'm just not used to really talking to a camera in public. I feel like I kind of get used to it towards the end. Progress is progress. I'm really excited to just share my experiences and try to be better and make actual outros. No promises. I might be doing this a lot. <laughs> we'll see. I will see you in the next one real soon. Okay, bye. Boop.